this is set A0041, aka Maze Dragon Jet. Not to confuse it with A0020, Maze White Horse Dragon Jet. They're different. This will retail for $20 and include 246 pieces. Now, I'm not a fan of the original set, and I was even more confused as to why LEGO made another May Jet so soon. Personally, I would have preferred a May Mech, but LEGO is offering us for the price is okay. Let me show you what I mean. The design is very slick and thin. It's not very bulky, nor does it have any complex features that hinder it. At first glance, I wasn't a massive fan of the design, but it grew on me. The front is on a hinge. That ties into the main play feature. It has two stud shooters on the sides. Next to that are the wings, which use the new cloud blade element in a trans green color. And it just looks fantastic. They're also fully posable. So it's all down to preference on the position of these. On the back, you'll get a gunner seat that also serves as an escape pod, which I like. It's a small little jet that detaches at the end and adds more play features to the set. My only issue with the set is the cockpit. It feels like an afterthought. It's gappy and I hate how the figures sit on there. It gives off this four plus set vibe. But obviously the main draw to the set is that this can combine with MK's Kami mech. And the way that works is great. You just slide this out, unclip this, find that connector down here, and attach it to the back of the combi mech. Now, I really like this set. Very simple transformation, snaps on there easily, and detaches very easily as well. Does it look a bit bulky? Maybe, but it also serves as a handle, so it's very easy to pick up and move around. It's one of those weird cases where the build by itself is mediocre, but if you have the complementary set, it elevates it. The side build for the set is a sweet little canyon for the Ink Demon to shoot at the jet, and a barrel to store the ammunition. It's an okay inclusion. I doubt anyone would have complained if they didn't include this, but it does elevate the piece count, so I guess it adds more value to the set. Lastly, the set includes three minifigures, none of which are exclusive, one regular Ink Demon, one general Ink Demon, and a reuse of the 2021 May. And I love the inclusion of the Ink Demons, they're a really good army builder. This May design on the other hand, it feels like a throw-in, but that's mostly me being nitpicky. In reality, it works just fine. In terms of value, the figures are good, the price per piece is great, and the jet by itself is alright. Can this set stand on its own? I think it sorta can, but the combination feature does make it more desirable. I just hope LEGO doesn't drop this concept after one year. I would love for more sets to combine with these and expand this as a sub-theme of Monkey Kid. In conclusion, what you see is what you get. By itself, the jet is nothing special. It works best when it complements the mech. If you have the money, you should buy the mech. But if you already have the mech, I say pick this one up as well. But hey, that's just my break opinion. As always, I'm Ace, this is Masters of Brick Jitsu, and thanks for watching, take care.